it's Debbie Williams here. I'm an NLP trainer and hypnotherapist and today I'm going to talk about why blushing makes you feel bad. The reason being is it may have happened perhaps at school when all of a sudden a teacher points out to you you've you haven't answered the question and you get flummoxed and you go red and you're stood there not answering the question and realizing that all eyes are on you then maybe somebody says something or laughs and all of a sudden you've learned that it's not good to to stand out and that you think that oh I'm not normal I'm not one of the crowd I'm different and you don't like it and if say the the class clown picks up on this and decides to push it and say oh look she's gone red again or he's gone red again look at you you look like a beetroot it makes you go further and further inside to think I just want to get away from this I don't even want to go to school and I've had endless sort of emails um, and messages from children who feel this way and this is exactly where a lot of uh, phobias have started when as an adult um, somebody wants to overcome their public speaking fear it's many times has been started at childhood and many times can be linked to blushing. The thing is though as a child you don't realise that um, kids tend to want to fit in and one way to do that is if they can make themselves feel bigger than the other person they feel more important so that if they can look for difference and they can point out oh you've gone red, oh you're fat, oh you're thin, oh you've got freckles, oh you wear glasses, oh you've got a big nose all of a sudden all eyes look on that person and that poor person feels that they're odd, abnormal, different and don't fit in and it's quite a devastating um, emotion or can be at times for sensitive children and see what I want to do here is to give some advice to let you understand that what you're doing, you're, you're going into an internal state where you're hearing yourself perhaps saying to yourselves, I don't want to go to school because I don't want to feel like this. They all think I'm weird or they all look at me and think I'm odd and I can't stop this blushing response. And the more you think about it, the more it sort of escalates. And the opposite of that is to use something like a confident strategy of shoulders back, head up, see yourself at the end of the day with a smile on your face, um, saying to yourself, oh, that was a good day. And also another little technique that you can do is imagine on your shoulders two people that you admire. I remember working with a, a girl once um, who'd been sort of left one school because of bullying and she was afraid that going to the new school, much as she liked it, that the same pattern would happen. And for her, she liked Beyonce and Brian McFadden. And so she went into school every day. Imagine that um, Beyonce was on this shoulder saying, go girl, go girl, you can do it. And Brian McFadden on, on that shoulder saying, hey, you're gorgeous. And it, it, it gave her that spring in the step, made her shoulders go back, which is an external focus. See, what you're doing is you're going internal and you're thinking, oh, I just don't want to be here. I just don't want to, to be around people because... I feel so bad and a lot of times when you try to explain to a parent they will say oh you know everybody blushes you know get over it yet it's my biggest selling hypnosis CD for adults is stop blushing it becomes a bigger problem and it can limit you in the workplace for promotions, for all sorts of things. So, you know, if you're a parent watching this, please take your child seriously because we kind of forget as adults that, you know, our feelings are strong, but those feelings started when we were younger, that we had equally strong feelings. The first time we were ever dumped by a partner, it was heartbreaking, you know, and your, your kids are growing up and they're having these plethora of emotions and don't actually know what to do with them. Now, NLP is absolutely fantastic because it teaches you almost like a TV in your mind to notice what you're saying to yourself, what you're picturing, which will generate the feelings. And you can change those pictures and you can change what you say to yourself, which then will change the feelings. The confidence strategy is changing your physiology, shoulders back, hearing yourself saying, I can do this, I can do this, I can learn to do this. And also maybe hearing yourself saying, I'm as good as anybody else. You know, I'm a nice person, I'm a kind person. 
And okay, they may laugh at me, but you know, who cares? You're not going to have everybody like you. And if you read any autobiographies of successful people, many times you'll find that they had a difficult childhood when they felt that they were bullied. And in fact, most kids have a difficult childhood because we're learning and growing all the time and we're searching and finding our identity and our place in the world. And we can be knocked from side to side when we're not sure of ourselves, which most of us aren't as a, as a youngster. So if you click the link below, you can download my free Stop Worrying, Create a Wonderful Life. If you are um, under 16 and watching this, then please get permission of your, your, your parents and maybe get them to watch this and start a discussion of you know what it's, what it's doing inside your mind and how it's affecting you. But also, once you've got it out, then spend 90% of your time on the solution which the opposite is of how you're feeling, is how to be confident. And so the shoulders back, head up, seeing it go the way that you want it to go. And it's exactly the same strategy that I work with kids who want exam success, is I get them to imagine seeing themselves walking out of the exam room with a smile on their face that lets them know everything went well. And they can look back and think, yeah, you know, I was able to answer all the questions, the easy ones, and then go back to the next lot because my brain had been open to look for the answers because I'd been at every lesson and my mind had took that information in. And so they're doing this big bit of programming, exactly the same as an athlete who sees themselves winning the race, going past the finishing line. They've got the big picture movie and then they do the work, the detail, the technique to get there. And so I hope this has been useful. Um, I put a couple of links here to uh, products that may well be useful to you, but I would also suggest maybe look for a good book on NLP because it is like finding the owner's manual for your brain and how you can change from your internal focus of thinking, oh God, what are people thinking? They're laughing at me, they're all staring at me, they think I'm odd, to, well, who gives a damn? You know, as long as you've got good friends that care about you, then who cares about what anybody else thinks? Because you would have been in the situation sometimes, maybe at school somebody's points something else out, oh God, you know, look at him, look at his big nose. And you look, but you don't think, oh God, they're odd, they're weird, they're this, they're that, the other. You just think, oh yeah, his nose is perhaps a little bit bigger. And then you turn back and get on with your life. So you're not judging that person as cruelly and harshly as you think that you're being judged when you've been stared at and um, people have perhaps laughed at you. Anyway, I hope this has helped. And have a look at my other video on Stop Blushing and also my channel because there's lots of useful uh, free NLP stuff on there of changing how you feel to feel better. Great talking to you today. Bye now.